The reality sometimes of adulthood is that it's it's sometimes there's no reward. Sometimes you just don't get punished. Taxes are taxing on my mental health. Oh. Bro. I definitely said the whole show was not gonna be in the car and it's not but it's like every time I'm ready to spill some beans I'm in the Nissan did you guys pay your taxes did you pay friend did you guys <laughs> friend did you pay your taxes me either uh, so that's gonna be the hard thing this this episode because I have to pay them. I'm pretty sure I can't not pay them. Yes, quite absolutely right. I have a guy that used to do them for me. So like you would think, why would doing your taxes be a hard thing for someone? Something that would be difficult to overcome. The reason that's a hard thing for me is because as a single mother, I really do live just paycheck to paycheck in this country. A lot of us do. And I work 65 hours a week. <laughs> what? I'm not having a good time in capitalism. Personally, I don't like it. And now tax season is here. So I'm already always stressed because I have to keep myself and my two children alive. So that's a full-time job too. And so I'm tired. Bro, I can't cry in every video. Oh, it's so whack. I'm gonna file my taxes apparently because I said it out loud, so I have to do it. And I know you're thinking, why would this girl be crying about taxes? It's not that serious. Oh, in your shitty Nissan. <laughs> Friend, I know you're thinking, and you're not even wrong. You're probably thinking, this girl sure does cry a lot. <laughs> Adulthood is so hard, bro. Ugh. No taxation without representation. Did you guys watch the state of the address yesterday? Like, what's going on? I'm trying to remember my coping skills because I'm very unhappy with the state of this country. Now the government, you know, the elusive, you know, all seeing, all existing government has come, it's, my, it's their time to look at me. And so they've come to ask me for money. I don't know why they would come and ask me for money. So, so then tell me how much I owe, right? Cause you know how much I owe you. And the government says no. Go pay somebody to go find out. Maybe we'll match. What? I'm not having a good time. Are you guys okay out there? What the f and I don't even know if I have that money to pay the tax guy, but I gotta, I'm gonna find a way, you know? That's the American way. The bootstraps. Bootstraps are hanging me a little bit. It's making it hard to have mental health. <laughs> Do the hard things, you know? We can do it. <laughs> Your service has been temporarily disconnected. Did you guys pay your taxes? Seriously. How do you know they did it right? Do you end up owing money or do you have to pay them? Or do you, I mean, is that the same thing? Oh my God. Bro, I don't know who left me out here to be an adult, but I'm not good at it and I'm nervous. I'm just thinking to myself, if I owe them more money, that's the worst case scenario. And at this point, it's like, I feel like every American is just living in debt. Like, that's the vibe. So you might be wondering, why is my car so shit, right? Well, guess what? It's paid off. I paid it off. I don't want to throw it away, even though it looks like a piece of garbage, because it's, it's my garbage. <laughs> Good. So worst case scenario, I owe them more money. I'm gonna go in there, call my tax guy, I'm gonna make the appointment, and I'm just gonna do it. And if I owe the government more money, they can just come and break my god dang knees. Just come break my knees and collect it. Come to my house, break down my door, and get me. Cause I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Otherwise, collect your $4, 
you know, installment and leave me alone. I don't know what to tell you. I'm exhausted. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> Capitalism. If you're tired, too tired to fight, you're doing it right. Oh my God. Some coping skills we used, right? One, I took some deep breaths, right? Right away, even thinking about doing my taxes, I've just been avoiding it. So when I think about it, it spikes my anxiety, I get nervous and I wanna panic. I trigger response is what I would call that. From there, I'm like, I talked myself down. I mean, I did have a little freak out, <laughs> but I took some deep breaths. I thought about worst case scenario. This is a real skill that I use in therapy. It's like, it helps me to really bring that giant mountain in my head down to a molehill. It's like, do my taxes, government come choke me down to like, go hang out with the tax guy that I like and, and just do some paperwork and then I won't go to jail. It's like, if I didn't do it, if I took no action, like if I didn't do it, what would the consequences be? I might go to prison. I worked through that whole thing very quickly because I went through a lot of therapy. Oh. Uh, back in the day, in my borderline days, when I was really in the height of my illness, I would have just avoided it and not done my taxes at all. I would have taken a penalty. They would have mailed me things. I would have just ignored it for years, maybe. Uh, I think it was years at some point. Avoidance, really, I, that was a huge huge thing for me and I just want to share some of these skills with you. I hope that they help you. I don't want to dictate what hard thing you do as an audience member because that is what we do as this show is like I do a hard thing which is going to be my taxes but you should do your taxes too because I think the date's coming. It's in April I think and I don't understand time but I know it be going. I know it goes and it comes and it comes and it goes and all of a sudden time it'll be we will blank and it's actually it's sunday and my show should be up right now is it up i hope i did it that's how time works it's cr crazy don't listen to me but do your taxes i'm gonna do my taxes i just want to encourage you to do a hard thing if the government tries to break your knees i'm sorry it's like you don't deserve that you have so much more value than a monetary they just literally made all of this up it's all fake the only thing that's really real is that you have a soul that's it like you're a living sentient being everything else is made up bro i'm sorry if they're coming after you they're coming after me too i don't know I'm looking for ways to freedom. I hope you are too. I hope you have a good day. I hope you tackle a hard thing. I hope you get your taxes done. I hope they leave you alone. I hope you owe them no money. And um, I'll see you on the other side. It's not even like I'm trying to be aggressive, bro, but it's silly for you to make me pay somebody to guess a number that you already know. Why are you doing that? That's mean and strange. You send letters to my house asking for money all the time that you think I owe you. So why couldn't you? What are you talking about? I have to pay somebody if you need help, then. to guess. Huh? Don't you think that's kind of silly? Anyway. That's not the only reason I'm annoyed with the tax system in this country, but I'll leave it at that. Um. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. I did my taxes and it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be, but it did hurt. I finally made the appointment and it took me days to collect all of the paperwork that they ask for. I really don't open my mail that often because it's often just a pile of bills that I already know about. I kind of keep it to, you know, every once in a while. Bestie, if you haven't done your taxes yet, I can encourage you to at least collect the paperwork because they be asking to see all kind of stuff. They, they obsessed with us out there. The gift of me, they are obsessed with us. The best chance you have of like getting it done is to get your paperwork work together so that's step one so that's what i did and that sucked like f 
<laughs> that sucked. And it's because it made me realize I need a better filing system. So it's like sometimes doing adult things drags up more adult tasks. So that sucked. And then I got all the paperwork. I went down to the office and I do like the office and they do have lots of candy. So I ate like literally maybe like 20 pieces of milk chocolate or I ate every single piece I had because I pay about 200 plus dollars to get my taxes done by this company. So if, if you ask me, um, I better, you better, I'm gonna eat every piece of chocolate. Don't, don't offer it to me because I'm hungry. <laughs> For that kind of mini, I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, bestie, hold on. Somebody come in. Hold on. He did it in 30 minutes and the guy's really nice. He's been doing my taxes for three years. And it's part of the reason why, you know, like I'm so nervous about my taxes is that I started seeing this guy who uh, his, his last name is Mystery, which is so cool. He bailed me out of a bad tax situation. Essentially, I had misfiled my taxes because I had gotten a new job and they asked me to sit down at a computer and fill out this form where I put in you know, how much I wanted to pull out for taxes, I guess. I didn't understand what I clicked. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just happy somebody gave me a job. And, uh, you know, I really had not learned this portion of adult. I've been in survival mode for so long. It's like, I'm literally... Talk about survival mode. I save and then, you know, my car breaks down or something happens and my savings gets wiped and then I start the stressful process all over again. It's like exhausting, dude. I'm doing my best and I, you know, I've kept food on the table. I have two kids who are fed and happy and clothed. And you know, statistically speaking, most people are living paycheck to paycheck. So I'm not ashamed to say that because <laughs> that's my truth, you know? And I've been on my own since I was like 16. So it's not been easy. I f***ed up my taxes and Mr. Mystery bailed me out. And by bailed me out, I mean he filed my taxes for the year that I f***ed up. And then he filed the taxes for the next year because I was too cowardly to even file my taxes the next year. Because I was so ashamed and scared that the government was going to come break down my door. Oh yeah and take my kids and arrest me for not paying my taxes because I didn't understand how anything worked and I lived on a fear-based ideology that really didn't have room for logic when emotions were number one. That's mental health, bestie. Some, I know you know, I know you know. Because sometimes it be that way. Don't it sometimes be that way? Oh my God. Mental health sometimes keeps you trapped in such a bubble. Like this car, trapped. <laughs> I ended up owing the government $2,000 that, from that year. And that was years ago. And I still have not paid them. You know why? Because I don't have the money. So if they want to come and ninja kick me, they can. I mean, I'm t I live in fear that they'll eventually garnish my wages. It's like exhausting, bro. And, and so... I'm not, I wasn't sprinting to run to do my taxes this year. All I got was the relief that the government wasn't going to penalize me for not doing my taxes. I got none of my refund back because I still owe them money from the last time. Sometimes the only satisfaction you get from doing something that you need to do is just the satisfaction of knowing it's done. It's not some exciting song and dance. It's just knowing that you did the right thing and it's and it's done you know like i like paying my taxes in the sense that i like knowing that my money would go back to our communities i love community-based things i would love to pay taxes i just wish there was an easier way to do it and a less stress inducing way for the collection of these taxes and i wish that were, there was more transparency with where these taxes go and that there was more option for citizens to decide where their tax money goes so i love that my money goes towards you guys or everybody or whoever's over here i guess i don't know i like that but anyway i did my taxes and there was no magic and there was no fireworks and i nobody said good job good girl and i'm still waiting so but at least it's done and they can't i don't know break my knees this year if you haven't done your taxes, go do your taxes. It's not as bad as it 
feels and I know that it does feel crummy. It's like stressful to find the papers and make the appointment and get there and, and discuss these, I don't know, grown things that sometimes feel like a rat race. But once it's done, the relief, maybe that's maybe that's the big finale, you know. Do the hard things and we can do them together. I think that's the point, right? A little community, a little friendship, a little camaraderie, right? It's like, hey, what did I say? The whole show won't be in the car. It might be, bestie. I don't know. Stop calling me when I'm in the car. <laughs> Call me later. <laughs> I can't believe I got another episode up, huh? And, and it only took me two and a half, probably three weeks. Good job, me. Wow. He's doing amazing. And so are you. I want to be peppy so bad about it, but it's like, damn, bro. I could have used that 300 bucks. <laughs> cheers to adulthood may your tax returns come back to you may this process be stress free for you may the night after you do your taxes i promise it'll be so good to you you know it's like it just get it done and i'm proud of you and good job you're a good human being for getting your taxes done and that's sometimes the reward that's the whole treat uh, call me later, friend. What's the next episode going to be? <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's better than this. I hope it's I hope it's a little happier than this one. <laughs> I did my taxes.